On now, the Daytona Beach police give new details on a weekend motel murder. Two men are facing charges after shooting a man with a gun and then a crossbow. Police say this happened Sunday at the Happy Holiday Motel. News 6's Lauren Korn has the 911 calls. Somebody got stabbed and the man, the man is really about to die. The drug game is a very dangerous and deadly business. Two killers are off the streets today, according to Daytona Beach Police Chief Craig Capri. Officers arrested 32-year-old Tarek Minimi and 27-year-old Taylor Holcomb Barber for the murder of 34-year-old Jeffrey Shusky. Guests and the motel manager called 911 Saturday night after finding Shusky dead outside the Happy Holiday Motel. He's called around. It appeared he was bleeding. He had a knife in his hand. The manager opened the door. The victim collapsed, dropped the knife. Police first thought Shusky died of a stab wound or from a crossbow found in his room. But officers now say Holcomb Barber shot him and took off with two bags of marijuana from the $5,000 stash found inside the victim's hotel room. They were planning on doing a burglary. This is all over drugs. There was the homicide was not supposed to happen, according to Tarek. Uh, Taylor goes up to the room to surveil it. Tarek is in the car waiting in the getaway car. He comes running down to the car with a gun and they flee and leave the area. Officers track down Minimi, who is good friends with Shusky. Police say he confessed to his part of this botched burglary. <laughs> Hours later, police got a warrant and found Holcomb Barber during a traffic stop, who they say also confessed to the shooting, but claimed it was accidental. Authorities say they found the gun in his car, along with shoes and clothes soaked in bleach. Murder. Holcomb Barber appeared before a judge today, his face full of scrapes. He's being held without bond, along with Minimi, who's been in jail since since Monday. Regardless of what he was doing in there uh, with narcotics and money, and, and we all know it was a drug deal, he didn't deserve to die over this. In Daytona Beach, Lauren Corn getting results, News 6.